So, as promised, here's the video on how to add your home IP address to your security group. Now, my instance happens to be running, but you can do this um, with your instance running or with it stopped. It really doesn't matter. Before we actually add the IP address in, the first thing I want to show you is what it looks like when, uh, when you don't have your security group set up properly. Um, so, for instance, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to run PuTTY, load this up, click open, and you'll see it's trying to connect. And so, after a short while, we see this. Network error, connection timed out. Okay, so that, that's generally a good indication. Well, it's an indication of a couple of things. One, I could have had um, the an incorrect uh, IP address. So that's one of the first things you want to verify. Uh, so I'll come in here, I'll say, okay, it's 100.230. I can come back over to here and verify, oh yeah, it's 100. So I do have the right IP address. Um, so most likely it has to do with, uh, it has to do with um, the security group. Um, but again, you know, just for, Posterity's sake, you might want to just double check, right? Okay, again, check that whole string. You can even add in the new one, etc. Okay, but in my case, I know that it's in fact the security group. Um, so the way of fixing that is uh, is you need to uh, you need to get into your console now. If you're not already, if you weren't already logged into your instances page, you know, if you just came in to, logged into the console home, you probably have something that looks like this. That's fine. All you do is from there, you're going to go to EC2, and then you're going to scroll down here. To security groups. So I have a number of security groups. Um, I'm actually just going to filter out to get down to the security group that I was dealing with, namely DB Cloud. All right, so I select that and I'm going to go to the inbound tab. So right now I have it set up um, to uh, to allow um, anything from my from my campus um, basically into uh, into um, my server. And I still want that. We don't want to actually delete that because we do want to be able to access the server from campus. What we need to do is add another rule allowing us to connect from um, our own computer. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to spin this open and I'm going to select SSH because we still are using SSH. Then I need um, my IP address or more importantly my my public IP address that I have from my IP service provider. Okay, now Getting that is actually fairly easy, right? Because if you're like me, you tend to have a home network, you tend to have lots of computers um, and possibly other devices there. Um, they all have their own IP addresses. Typically, those are internal or private use only. So as I said, you need your public IP address. Um, it's easy enough to find. I'm just going to go to a new tab here. I'm going to type in uh, what is my IP. And I get this page that shows um, my public IP address is, and it in fact shows um, that. Now I have it blurred out um, for the obvious for obvious security reasons, um, but basically you'll you'll grab your IP address there. I just copied it, and I'm going to come over here into source and paste this in. Um, I want to make sure to uh, to select the slash 32 or just type in slash 32 on the end, which indicates that um, I'm restricting it to that specific IP address. Then I need to click add rule. Add rule will drag that over onto this side. Then I can scroll down because I'm still not done yet. Um, very importantly, if you don't click apply rule change, uh, the change has not happened. Okay, so you click apply rule change. Um, now we're now we see those uh, those things listed there, and now we can give this a try. So again, gonna run PuTTY. Gonna load up my DB Tunnel profile. Click open, and there it goes. So that's all there is to it. The only thing to remember is uh, periodically you may have uh, you may have your um, you may have changes um, in your in your public IP address from your ISP. So you know if uh, if things change, you're just going to need to, uh, to to go back in and modify that setting. 